<laughs> so hopefully we made it through that okay. But we're going to move this down and show you what we're going to work on today. This is the first card. And I thought, is this fun? We better take Mary's pencil so oh, it yeah. doesn't get lost here. I love this look. I see we've got the watercolor look going on here. And this is from A Fish and a Wish, which uh, this is the first card I've made from that. And I love the stamp set. I have ideas for other cards to make with it. I just haven't had time. But I think this is so fun. One of the things I love about this technique is you can never do the same, get the same look twice. Okay, so who has... Who brought your stuff and is going to do this with us? So what I told you to bring, let's see, and I'm going to have you do. The best paper for these are to use watercolor paper or the shimmery white paper. I have a card that I made without that, and it bubbles. Um, Tim, do you want to do me a favor and just bring out a piece of white cardstock just from mm -hmm. my scrap bin because I should show that again. I think on this first one, Let's have you do the watercolor paper. And I'm going to do shimmery white. And so we each have our paper here. And oh, that is terrible. I really do need to read the comments. Are we upside down? I don't think so. I think we're good now, aren't we? I hope we're good now. Your screen shows us okay. Okay. According to my screen, we're okay. So we are using three of the new in colors. I just love these. When I going to use this. I like to start with the lightest color because, you know, I, you know, we worry a little bit about bleeding the colors, but it, it really isn't going to matter. But so, but that's why I like to start with the white, the light. So I'm going to just take this and do some scribbling. Thank you. Yeah, just, yeah, that's good. I'm just going to scribble on this. I'm going to pass it to you and you're going to do the same. You can scribble however you want. Your scribbles do not need to match mine. They can be uh, all over the place. You know, it doesn't need to be lines either. So if you are concerned about getting any extra color, this is what you do at the end. You just wipe that off. If there's any color, just make sure you aren't grinding the tips. But uh, usually it isn't an issue if I'm working from lightest to darkest. So we'll get all these on. I'll put the covers back on. And however dark your colors are, I mean, all of this just kind of changes each time. Oh, she's being way more particular than yeah, I am, but sure. you got to do it in the camera here. But I thought she's being way more particular. So I think hers is going to be much cooler. We'll see. Okay. We'll see. Then we're going to spritz it. So I am using the little Stampin' Up! spritzer, but if you have any little spray bottle, anything's going to work. What I like, how I like to do this is I kind of spritz it in the air and then bring this in. I just kind of, but you know, um, so I'll just make you dizzy a little bit. Oh, and because I'm being sidetracked here, I put on Refuse. probably more water than I wanted, but it's okay. I love the look of this because it changes the amount of water, the amount of colors you put on. Whoa, I put on too much water, it all slid. I'm going to have an interesting look, <laughs> but it's going to be okay. Okay, and now Mary's going to do hers too. And then you're going to hold it down and press it so it actually has time to kind of mix down there. Ooh. Okay, and, may, see, and now look at this. This is cool. This is perfect. Now, Mary has watercolor paper, which is also thicker and bumpier, so it doesn't mix quite the same either. And she probably has less water in her, so we're going to get two totally well, different why looks. Why don't you have water? Why don't you have the same kind of paper? Because it works on both of these papers, oh, so we're showing different the yeah. watercolor. Yeah, these okay. are the two that work. So I thought, not, isn't that cool? Now... Oh, look at these. Totally, totally different. If I have that extra water and I don't want it, I'm going to just take a paper towel like that and dab it up. So how cool is that? Yep, very different. Mm -hmm. And yours is even a different size because you don't have as much color up there or yeah. it didn't get spritzed up there. Now we each have three fish, so we're just going to put the fish on. And now, you know, we would let this dry, um, but we're going to... We'll set that there for a moment. While that's kind of drying, I'm going to do this one more time on regular paper. And oh, we're going to be voting at the end to, to see if, yeah. <laughs> if Sister Mary is better than her brother in making cards. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I'm going to do it on regular cardstock, so you see the difference of why we're saying that while we wait for those to dry. So I'm just going to scribble again. I'm um, very happy. Whoops, I guess I could do it on here. 
sometimes it's hard to share space, you know, it's kind of what the, what the deal is. Yeah, so Tim's brother's coming in from Texas and other relatives are coming in. So, so it'll be a fun you, family reunion. Karen, what are you doing and why isn't Mary doing the same thing? Oh, I'm just going to show on regular paper oh, why we don't tend to use that. Oh, I see. Okay, and I'm going to just spritz this very quickly and I'm going to put this down. So this is regular paper. But the thing that's interesting Oh, this looks like a fish tank. Yes, that one does. Uh -huh. The thing that's interesting, even this will work. And we're going to see if this picks it up. Ooh, I like it. But this is cool too. But it often bubbles. Now this probably bubbles, but you know what? I don't mind that look. So if you don't mind that look, okay, use any paper. You know, what we do is all about experimenting and just seeing whatever happens. So um, I think that is a cool idea. I like that. You like that? Okay. And that one didn't bubble as much as others. So maybe I didn't have too much water Could on it. Did you do that on vellum? Um, Probably not. That's a, but that's a really good point. I, yeah, I bet if you used a heat tool, it would just be oh, slow drying on yeah, vellum. Yeah. But it, you guys experiment because, you know, the experiment of the week is doing this. You're going to do this kind of technique and use any size acrylic block. It doesn't matter. Um, but over in the back porch stampers, we see everybody's ideas. So experiment. Try vellum. Try anything. And then tell us what we what we have. So this is it. And we will just put a, you're going to put these on yours and you can put your fish wherever you want. Okay. And we will add the, uh, see, I do full service here because I do that for Tim. So <laughs> I'll do that for you too. Isn't that nice to have your paper cut for you, Mary? Oh yeah. And then just, uh, I'll, I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> and just, just do whatever. You can follow the leader or do your own thing. We're wide open. It never matters. <laughs> But <laughs> so does it matter which way I set this? Part? No, do yours differently. That would be, that would be awesome. See, different is, is better. And I love this. Um, This is one of the things in here, a sea of thanks. So I use mm -hmm. that. So we'll add that later. And then either of these embellishment pieces just work really well on this, the fine sparkle gems, and then whatever this one is. I always like to stick my things off. And, but if they're in the, if mine's an aquarium, then I should keep them on the inside. That's a cool idea. And you know, if I were turning this into an aquarium or something like that, as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking it would be fun. I could put the fish in closer, take a black little pen and go around and do an outline. Wouldn't that be cool and kind of create my own look with it? Yeah, Bella might curl, Pat is saying. I don't know, but try it and see. You know, um, when things get wet like this, these papers can curl too. Like if you're going to get something even wetter, like mine's curling a little bit. The trick to keeping it flat is to spritz it a little bit with water on the other side first. And then if you put it on this and turn it over under your stamp, it's not going to curl because hmm. then both sides are wet. So Tanya says, darn it, Karen, now I need that little fish sack. <laughs> Gets oh, you every so time, doesn't it? Well, Heidi, we're so are. glad to have you here from Australia. I said it's so fun, but I thought, but aren't these fun and just totally different looks? And I don't think we need to assemble them, do you? And we usually assemble afterwards. Uh, no, I think we're good. Okay. And then it's just picking paper. I just love this, these in colors. So that's card number one. So Mary, she's going to make two cards with me. So here is the next one. You can do a similar look. Thought this is fun. Mm, that's cool. So where did Tim go? Oh yeah, where did Tim go? Oh, he's, he's doing. Oh, he went to make his. Oh, he's turning that one, and he found a fish out there. He found one of my rejects, and he's just making a card, and it's look all wonderful. How, I love it. Look at how poorly I cut it. I just want. Oh, cut oh, the tail I thought I thought I punched it and was no. probably a reject, oh, but there's a punch. There's a punch for <laughs> that for those fish. <laughs> Okay, Tim does not love to fussy cut, and you guys know I do. <laughs> that is hilarious. That's really but that's good. great to finish that card, too. So use whatever you have, and let us know if it makes a difference on your card when you post your cards over in the back porch stampers. Tell Heidi us what you used. Here? Yes, Heidi is on here. Heidi. From Australia? Yes, who sent oh, us all that stuff. So. Nice, yeah. so on this one, we're going to use ink pads instead. So you can see we're really just using two colors here, but isn't that an, another awesome look? So on this, we are, it's going to be a very, very similar thing. 
And we're just going to ink up half of it. Oh, I guess I might be missing that. Half of it in that color and half of it in this. And now we could be even fancier and then add a little marker to this. I mean, this is all about playing. Anything water-based is going to work really well for this. We'll let Tim, our, our assistant here, close up the things. Oh, Tim, I like oh. your card. We'll show it at the end. Okay, we're really gonna. <laughs> okay, now, I'm, now the same thing. We're gonna spritz this. What did you use last time, the watercolor paper? So this time I'll use the watercolor paper. So we'll just switch and get a feel for both. Now the same thing, we're just spritzing this. And me. Oh, and Mary. Yes, I'm getting <laughs> getting the whole spritz thing going here. And when I press it down, you can see now I've got the watercolor paper and it doesn't mix the same way as on the other paper. So it's different looks, which is fun. So you can add more water if you're doing watercolor paper. Oh, I want the, I'm thinking about how I want it placed. I want the sand on the bottom. And okay, the... so if you can see both of ours, Kind of see how hers is totally blending on that paper. Oh, and I did mine the other way. <laughs> That's because you were starting to copy me and then realizing I wasn't thinking. <laughs> but I think that's really fun. And so now when we open them, you know what's cool? That really like looks that. like sand. Yeah, it does. And I'm not happy with this one on the watercolor paper. I need more moisture. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just do it again right over it and see how well I can do I'm going to miss it, but I need the two ink pads again. Sorry, sir. <laughs> I think have I ever sir. called you, sir? You I don't sir. think so. I don't sir. think I've ever called him that. <laughs> we're, not, we're no longer romantic partners. It's kind of a business relationship. <laughs> Catherine says it's going to be another midnight craft night. She gets started and can't stop when she learns a new technique. Oh, how fun. <laughs> How fun to hear that. Now, it is going to matter if I match up my colors, right, Mary? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll go over here. And I'm going to get this wetter since I'm on the watercolor paper. See, I got mine really wet this time. Okay. And we're going to see what this does on the watercolor paper now. Oh, yeah. So here it's going to blend more. Still not all. Mm -hmm. Still not all the way. So if you just get different looks. But I love it because you could never recreate any of these again. But I like how you did this one more because it's kind of got a curve rather than straight. It yeah. Might, oh, you know what? That, that is that true. And I didn't do that. I think it just had more water. So it yeah. kind of bled. That is, oh, this is interesting. Yeah. See, is. and then I can dab that. And this is going to have probably a little more blend. You're right. I am so glad. I see. Uh, Cynthia just said on the watercolor paper, you can spritz after you take the water uh, away. Yes. That's a whole nother technique we do. And do you know what? There's so many techniques. I haven't even thought about that one. That is fabulous. I love that. So watch this. I can take this. Get it underneath so they can see. Oh, okay, well, let's just move that one. I didn't want to destroy something while I'm experimenting. Thank you for saying that. See, I always say uh, we're more creative together than we are separately, and we have better memories if we can do them collectively. Now, if I want this to, to bleed out a little, it I can also bleeding. see that it's doing it anyway, but I can also on purpose Ooh. go for a different look. Is that cool? Yeah. And again, if it's getting to be too much, I just pop that up and it makes it lighter again. But that is cool. That looks like kind of this watercolor wash. So look at all the things you can do with that. Thank you, uh, Cynthia Howard, I believe. Thank you for that. What color are these ink pads? They are pool party and crumb cake. But again, you could try some more dramatic things. Um, any of the, oh, I think that's really cool. Now that's spreading out if I don't want that. This or not? So it's dry if you're in a hurry, bit. but I'm never in a hurry. Okay. Um, because I don't like taking my heat tool out and using it. Oh. <laughs> so I tend, you know, if you're making cards like this, I think what's really fun is to make a whole bunch of backgrounds, mm, set them all yeah. aside, let them dry, and then come back and create. This would be done beautifully in all kinds of colors. And you could do two ink pads to make it quick. And then you could use a marker in the middle too, if you wanted to add a third color. So um, Penny says she has the fish set and has been struggling with ways to use it. This is such a great technique to use it. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, no, this, you're going to let that so dry fun. or do you want to dab it? A um, more. I'm going to dab it a little well, more only. Let me dab it. Oh, okay. Tim's going to dab it. I'll be back. Okay. Tim has, Tim has a plan. Um, uh, okay. I, I need to show you something. This is a little side. I bought this for Tim once when I was traveling. Oh, I was find it. Oh. Timothy has ideas. So, yes. Okay, so this is a book for Tim because um, that is so true. <laughs> <laughs> Could 
Cool. Oh, See, I is, love no, but I, I know, like, but I oh. wanted to I wanted to make a a napkin card, but you know. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> that didn't work. There okay, but a, how a cool is that? No. Now to add our trees, I just say I think that should probably dry. So let's come back to add that. I'll do one more background while we're at it and then show a couple of cards. And then I'm going to get back. Oh, I'll, I'll just show this one. So, you know, this one, these make fun backgrounds with just um, words. So this is with the Good Feelings stamp set, which is just big. And I thought, mm -hmm. and it just looks fun. So that's just done the same way. This one is a fun little Halloween one with that scary, cute thing. This one is actually really bubbly. We can see it up close. I don't know if they can because I did it on regular paper, but I don't think you can really notice it. And I think it's actually a cool look. Yeah, that is. So I think it is actually just fine. <clears throat> I love that die cut. Yes. Uh, where is Tim's brother from in Texas? All um, our Texans are wanting to ask. North or no, of Dallas. Right? McKinney. 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 Okay. Just north of Dallas. Yes. Okay. And then the That's, one that is most similar. It's actually Mary's brother. Yeah. No. <laughs> the one that's brother. most similar to the one that I did before hmm. um, is this one, the little video that I'm going to show you too. So this is kind of the same, but I thought, is this just a fun look? Like so that. this just shows all kinds of colors that you can do. Yes, we still oh, have man. enough water. I love how intense that is. So here we used really bright colors. So I started again first with the light. Oops, I'm going to do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's going to really, really work well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, people are saying that's a cool little town. I've never been there. Mary, have you been there? Yeah, it is a oh, cool town. Cool town. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've never been there. You should oh, go. I know. You might just, might just yeah. be on our list. We have no idea what we're going to do. So I'm going to just do a whole bunch of these colors. And I guess I had some blues. See, I'm just this time, I'm just really kind of going all over. Kind of pale colors, it won't show up that well. Well, then we're getting to some brighter. See, oh, I put okay. the paler on first. Okay. So if there's any parts missing or if they blend in, so I'll do this and let's do another. Let's, looks like we did this one. See, now we're getting some brights. And now this is getting a little messy on here. So just see if, if I do that. Do you see, there is a little color on there that you can kind of see coming off. And now this color is clear again. So that's how you protect your pencil. So we'll see how this goes. I will spray right it off, right in front of you. off camera here. Uh, Mary's gotten wet enough. So I'll just <laughs> keep this to myself. I don't melt. I'm good. <laughs> and we really do need brain. So if we're yes. only that. So we wouldn't be complaining. And I'm going to put this down. Whoa. And do you see how that spreads? I think that is just such a fun look. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, you guys, you guys are so good. Jacqueline Hill is the saying, you can also take this while it's wet and then sprinkle coarse salt on it. Have oh. you guys ever done that? And then when it dries, it gives you a really cool look. We could go on and on with these techniques. The class I did, there's a whole bunch of techniques in there, and I don't even remember what all the different techniques were. Sometime we're going to do something all about background techniques with um stuff like this now i like that i actually like how that goes like that i'm, I'm going to take those i'm going to take that little off but i like that splattering kind of looks mm -hmm. like a almost like a sunset does not it with a like a really rich with a rays going up so we're going to set that aside and then we're going to talk about putting the black ink on um so kathy's saying she lives in Texa texacana is that what you call it it's next to Arkansas, Texarkana, if that's what it is. Uh, well, I think it is. And she goes through McKinney to go see her son. Oh, okay. okay, I need my stamparatus. What did I do with it? I thought I had it out here, There's, Tim. Do you know what a stamparatus is? Of course I do. Because this is interesting, you know, because, of course, I'm on the inside. It's going to be the hardest for me to get out to go get it. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought I... Okay, so um, it's the one that's got the magnets? Yes. Okay. But it might be easier if I do it, actually. No, I'm, not, no, I'm, I'm good. Tim, we call Tim the finder. Okay. But, oh, it's right here. I knew. It, no, see? no. It, okay. I made it up but here. I, I knew it was out here. It was just on the no, sofa because. She, didn't. she had no idea where it was. <laughs> you know, when it's called three on a bench, it's just kind of hard to. <laughs> be silly. But this is when one of the reasons that Stamparatus is really good. And I will show you why. Because you often don't get especially on watercolor paper, you often don't get a deep imprint 
right away. Like we want this to be nice and black. Is this one? This one's dry enough. Let's use this one. This is such a fun one. So we'll do this one. So I'm going to put this on. You can pick good. up those magnets. Those I know. Magnets. Slide them off. There's very strong magnets. There's a little puppy there. You can see. But again, I could make that dry flat by spritzing the back a little and then sitting it to dry. But we're kind of we're kind of okay with whatever here. Yeah, I think it would be okay. Even For this one, I'm using no. fresh cut flowers. Mm. And you'll see why when you look at the other card I did in the video, because this is kind of the most awesome. like it. Okay, and I'm just going to set that where I want it to be. I'm going to close up my Stamparatus. Now, if I'm using the memento on this, stays on will give even a deeper, richer impression. So sometimes you use that, stalling. but it is harder She's on looking. the stamps. I'm stalling because I'm, oh, I'm looking for my ink pad. <laughs> <laughs> so anything will work. Yes, I am lucky to have Tim as a finder. And he, it's his name, the grandkids. We all call him that, you know, so it's always just kind of this fun thing. <laughs> so that's because I found her happiness for 48 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I got to move this over here. Okay. So I'm going to ink this, and, and this is just a little tip. This is my black memento. This is what you color with with blends. So I have a marker right mm. here. Stays on is what you're going to use if you're going to get it wet, like if you're going to use watercolor pencils and get it wet. So I just put what they're mm. used with on the mm. underside. But, you know, stays on just um, more permanently stains the stamps, which I don't mind. But since this worked, I'm just going to do this to just show. So we're going to close this up. And if it's not dark enough. Okay. But you see the comparison. This is much darker. And we want to go for that mm. look. Here is where the Stamparatus is just wonderful because you can go over and over and over until you get the look you like. So I can keep doing this. You can also get your words on straight, you know, if you put your things and then add your words. So let's see how many times I want to do this. I'm going to still mm. do it again. Yep. Yep. I think I did the other one four times and then I thought I could do stays on and probably do it twice or I could do this, but it doesn't matter. Use what you have. It's getting there. Oh, it's getting there. Yes. Yeah, so see how fun that is. I think it's just, um, so an awesome use. This is the kind of time when you want to restamp things. Oh, so Tim's final push. will do it. Lovely. Ooh. Yeah. That pretty much okay. did it. That, that is wonderful. So there we go. So these are our cards today. One, two. Where's the other? Where's the fish one that's complete? Do we have one that's complete? It's, I think, it's uh, under, I think here. under here. Yeah. So we did these. We shared these. So just enough ideas to get you started. And now it's your turn to go over into the back porch stampers and show us what you're going to make with this. So, uh, <laughs> Thanks, guys. This is fun. And this fun way to celebrate um, no. stamping the watercolor. <laughs> yeah, I, I was sidetracked watching what in the world Tim is doing. Okay, here we go. So here's a here's a family photo. <laughs> he was he was out of the picture. And he had to be. <laughs> and he had to be in that center. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for spending this time with us. So make sure I'm, you're on my email list for a whole bunch of reasons. Go to garantitis.com. And I think that's it. Do we have anything else? I don't think so. Oh, Thanks. yeah. We're going to do something at the end. Tell a story, or what will we do? Oh, okay. Tim probably wants to tell a story, but I think we're going to cut him off now. Thanks, you guys. Um, <laughs> have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. Bye. Goodbye.